I'm Ian Callahan, and I'm the Senior Director for Sales and Marketing for the International Market for PBI. Today I want to give you an introduction to PBI. I want to give you some of its history, some of the key features, an overview, and most importantly, the advantages and the properties that PBI can offer. Where does PBI sit in the supply chain? Well, we're at the very beginning of the whole chain. PBI is a raw fibre, and this is actually PBI in its raw state. This is its natural colour, no dyeing whatsoever. So that's PBI in raw format. It is then blended with a paraaramid, better known as Twaron or Kevlar, and a spinner will then spin it into a yarn, as you can see. And then the yarn is then sent to the weaver, and the weavers then make all the, the various PBI fabrics that are on the market. And then that is then passed on to our approved manufacturers who will then design and manufacture your, your fire clothing and obviously the end user. I want to give you some history on PBI. Where did it all start? Well, it all started with this wonderful gentleman called Dr. Carl, Carl Marvel, who in the 1960s developed this wonderful thing called PBI. He found that as a raw fibre, it had unique properties when exposed to heat and flame. Didn't know what to do with it, so he left it on the shelf, painted it and left it there. And that sat there, right up until, unfortunately, the Apollo 1 tragedy, where unfortunately three astronauts lost their lives to a major fire. So, NASA and the US government went looking for products in the market that would give them heat and flame protection and they discovered PBI and that was the first time PBI was ever used it was actually used in the next Apollo mission so it started off with NASA and then in 1983 PBI went commercial as a plant and started producing PBI this continued until 1994. New York Fire Department, or FDNY, became the first major fire service in the, in the world to start wearing PBI. And they still wear PBI to this day. 2010, PBI changed its look. This is PBI, as I explained earlier, as its original state in gold. 2010 PBI started producing black as a stable product. It is stable when it's exposed to heat and flame. When it's exposed to very extreme high temperatures, PBI does not go brittle, does not carbonize and stays flexible. And a good, a good way to show you uh, performance levels compared to other fabrics. This is a meta aramid that's been exposed to, to heat and flame as PBI. And what happens? It carbonizes, as you can see, what we call break open. So that is a meta aramid that's been exposed to heat and flame. This is just one version of a PBI outer shell. And you can see it's supple. No break open, no crispiness, no hard, no break open. Stays flexible. Now these are the unique properties that PBI offer when exposed to heat and flame. Disintegration for PBI is around about 740 Celsius, which is extremely, extremely hot. For example, a firefighter, unfortunately may be caught in a backdraft, a flashover and if they get caught, they want to know that the uniform they're wearing, the protective uniform they're wearing, is going to protect them in that situation. And they want to be able to 
come out of the building with their garments still intact. Most of our outer shells for firefighting are blends of a 40% PBI and 60% of paralamid, better known as Kevlar or Twaron. Now Twaron and Kevlar, as you know, are the strongest man-made fibre. And what PBI does is bring you, brings the, the protection side, the thermal protection, the, the flame and heat protection, with the strongest fibres. So a good way of showing the performance of PBI or other fabrics is the dynamic flame test. Now this has been used for many years for P at PBI and it's a great visual test to show how fabrics do perform under direct flame. The video you're about to see of, is a direct comparison of an aramid at uh, I think around about 220 grams compared to 205 PBI and it will give you a real indication on how our fabrics compare when exposed to a direct flame. Another test method of showing how fabrics perform and you can see the performance of a manufactured design it is the mannequin burn and this is an independent test that's carried out in numerous test facilities around the world the test is an eight second burn of around around a thousand celsius and this will be directly prepared on onto a mannequin and the sensors all over the mannequin will give us indications of first, second and third degree burns. This is a direct comparison of our competitor's product, an Aramid, Meta Aramid, against the PBI. The Meta Aramid is a 220 gram outer shell and the PBI is a 205 gram, so it's light and weight. As you could see with the PBI product, there was no break open, there was no shrinkage compared to the Meta Aramid. Also, you could see the difference in the first, second, third degree burns. And what I always look out for is the time of the first to second degree burn, the difference in time. These are major factors in protection. Okay, a little bit about comfort and durability. Uh, PBI offers great comfort. Uh, many reasons why uh, PBI fabrics are, are very comfortable to wear. We've, we spoke about the high protection it offers so PBI is a strong product and very high protection. Because it's the high protection our weavers and our manufacturers can produce our PBI fabrics at lighter weights. Saying that even though they're lighter in weight we never compromise on any protection. Durability. PBI has been used in the fire service for well over 30 years and has proven itself over and over again. PBI is a trusted product with the fire services. There's many reasons why the durability is so good for PBI. Got high tensile strength and tear strength. And the reason is because of the blend. PBI offers fiber, offers the thermal and the heat protection. The power aramid, because the 60% blend really gives it the durability, the strength. It's a perfect combination for tear strength and high tensile strength, which is what makes the garment more durable, longer lasting reduces repairs. As a fabric, 
PBI can offer great durability, but obviously with the durability comes the care. And to get the full life of a garment or a firefighter's uniform, there's other things that have to come in factor. Uh, we, you have to store properly away from UV, uh, frequently wash, care and clean, maintenance, inspections, and most importantly, that uh, any, any detergent that you use to clean garments, detergents, must be neutral. PBI carried out a full testing regime on all our products and all our competitors' products. And this was done in a, a method that's called a weather ometer. And we found quite uh, impressively that after a period of time, PBI performed extremely well. So we've proven this and many brigades trust and still wear PBR to this day and we're still improving and thankfully we've been able to produce a new improved performing PBI fibre. Now this has been launched into the market you'll know it as PBI LP. LP stands for lightweight performance and the reason this is because because we've been able to improve the performance levels of the fibre, which offers even better protection against heat and flame, 30% more flame resistant, it has better LOIs, the chance to make a lighter weight PBI outer shell without compromising any of the protection. And now with the LP fibre, it's allowing us to produce a lighter outer shell that performs the same, if not better, than the products and the fabrics that you know are on the market to this day. Well, hopefully that uh, gives you a full overview of all the unique properties that PBI offers. Always remember what PBI offers. Protection without compromise.